Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode four of Conservative Concern. This time I am joined by my personal friend, Dick the Brit. Say hello. Hey, man. Uh, cool. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Of course. So Dick the Brit and I, we actually hunt together. We go out into the woods and we hunt deer. And we actually had an interesting night. We came back, set up our laptops, opened up a stream and started watching the, what do, what do we call it? I believe that's a trash, the Vosh, Vosh trash man. Uh, yeah, his stream, it was terrible. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, so for a starter, for you guys who are not subjecting yourself to communist news network crap, the democratic debate was evidently tonight with all of the liars up there. And we, we were just trolling Vosh's fans, you know, as we do, we, we, we kind of get down with that, don't we? We like to trigger him in multiple ways. Yeah, absolutely. So I wanted to discuss with you, who do you think had the most embarrassing showing of the Democrats tonight? Well, it's probably uh, Pete Buttfag for even showing up to the debate. I don't I don't understand why he's even there. Uh, he looks like he just got out of high school to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about this kid. He does. He, he, the, we, we were calling him Pete Butt Faggot because that, <laughs> <laughs> that's closest to his name is Pete Butt Faggot because you, some of you may not know this, but he's actually a homo on top of being that small and having a name like that. So that's yeah. true. I heard he's gay. That's true. Yeah, he's, he's, he's deaf. He's talking about his husband. It's so embarrassing. Anyway, so up next, we have. Pocahontas herself, Elizabeth Warren. What are your takes? Wow, I think she needs to, uh, first off, get off the stage because men are talking. Not real men, mind <laughs> you. But there are men up there There's... on stage. What does she even, what does she have to say? I, Amen. I don't know. Amen. I mean, they aren't men. They're facsimiles of men because they, they look like men. They walk and talk like men. But deep down we know that if they could be trans, that would be the first thing they do is they would all go trans. Just, except maybe Joe Biden, because he needs his penis to rape children. That's, I, that's true. I heard he likes to have them smother his uh, legs down, his leg hairs with oh, butter. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, essentially he goes to the pool and dips his legs in the water and let the little kitties rub on his legs. That's what I heard. I, I can't believe somebody would do that this day and age, but I mean, when you're a liberal, what, you ain't getting pussy, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're not ever going to get pussy being a liberal. You can you can pretend to get pussy, you can talk about it, but then you look at the kind of pussy liberals are getting and you say, no thank you, not for me, that's gross. I, I like to say this to him, uh, <laughs> I've watched American Idol, uh. That's going to be a no from me, dog. <laughs> Goodness, Dale. Sorry. I'm on uh, a new... You okay? Do you need me to go into the other room? Oh. I'm on a new medicine. Oh. They tell me it helps with my kidneys. Um, uh, as you know, yeah, excuse, excuse me for all the girls in the room. Uh, sorry, you might have to hear what a man sounds like occasionally. They told me it would help my kidneys, and <clears throat> it's been wreaking havoc on my sinuses for some reason. I don't know what's going on, uh, but, uh... Probably all this gayness in the air. All these liberals are just <laughs> making everybody trans and women's these days. Really getting the pollen of these little fruit flies everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's because I go to Voss's stream and end up... Hold on, I just gotta wipe my mouth. And end up with uh, that kind of... <clears throat> that kind of oh. shit in the air. Uh, so so let's talk about everyone's favorite man, baby. What was he up to? Well, let me tell you this. Me and my friend over here, we're sitting down on this on on the floor, and we're watching this man child over here talk about drawing some pictures and some bullshit. And he <laughs> he, he thinks we're the same person. He banned my friend over here, C-SPAN. I saw him do it. Yeah. 
blood. It's okay, take your time. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, I'm, you too, too. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, it's fine. Uh, <coughs> so I'm having a bit of a gassy night, I guess, but little Voss was just sitting at his desk with his little, little sketchbook drawing pictures of Women with titties, something he probably doesn't have in his personal life. That's true. I don't think he even has a real girlfriend. I think he just got a ball of mass to personify as if it was a woman. It's so sad. <laughs> That's probably why he has that cat around. That's the only pussy he's getting. <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness, Dale. <coughs> okay, sorry. Just, uh, it's just, this medication is, uh, rough to deal with, but <coughs> I have pride in myself as a man, and that's why I put these up, because Unlike the little uh, everyone's disabled community online, I I take personal pride in my strength. You know, you've known me almost I do almost my whole life, so you know I have these issues, and it costs yeah. me a spot in the Marine Corps. <clears throat> and I still train every day like I am in the Marine Corps, and I just want to thank you for being a real man and a real friend who helps me out. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna go on a five mile hike, aren't we? Absolutely. I, I knew you since, uh, you know, we were in high school together and, and Lord knows that, uh, you know, right, right as the day you turned 18, actually, I believe is when, uh, coincidentally, yeah, this stuff seemed to come up and, you know, ever since then we've just been getting by, um, yep. and uh, I tell you what, I've never seen a more patriotic man in my life than when, than when I, I, I hear you talk in these shows. No, no, thank you. It, it means a lot coming from my friend Richard over here. So, quick story for you. We were at a bar one time, <clears throat> and we were just fucking around throwing darts, taking taking some sips, you know, get, getting, it, getting it up there. And, I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so don't worry, I'll tell. So, uh, Richard, we, we joined a dart team against two other guys, right? And one of them, one of them's name is like Chuck or something like that, and then the other one's name is Diane, and we are sloshed out of our fucking minds, just tossing darts drunkenly. We're hitting the wall, we're having fun. People are getting out of the fucking way, <clears throat> and Richard over here, he he walks over to the scoreboard and he sees that and he says, "Who the fuck is Diane?" And then the next thing we know, this big beefy hulking bearded freak. Says, I'm fucking Diane. And charges Richard. And Richard and I, we beat the shit out of them. I don't know what the fuck they were supposed to be. But I'll tell you this much. We completely shut that fucking freak down, didn't we? Absolutely. Not a single uh, <laughs> sight in, inbound uh, could understand the veracity that we took this man down with. Um I don't know if we even finished that game <clears throat> afterwards. I, I, no, I, I believe that uh, we were getting close in cricket, but after the freak known as Diane uh, basically charged into your fist 18 times and just kept coming. <laughs> it was it was freakish, folks. This was apparently a woman who just kept walking right into, like, well-placed, pop, 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 jabs. So we, we have to hightail it the fuck out of there, right? So what happens is people start throwing, like, shot glasses at us because I guess he, she was in a gang, and I, we never went back, did we? I, I think we're still banned from that place, actually. <clears throat> yeah, we probably are. We should go back there one day just for uh, shits and giggles and record the reactions of the people there. We sh we should go and trigger them <laughs> and record it on our on our phone. <laughs> yeah, that's what we should do. We should uh, go over there because I I'll bet you anything that some descendant of Diane is working there and drinking soy lattes and talking about oh my mother was Diane 
fuck your mother. She was the size of a man, and she fought Dick over here like she was a damn man. Listen, what's swinging between the legs is what's going to determine what kind of person you are, okay? I don't care what you say. Nope, you got you got a swinger or you got a dinger, right? You got a, <laughs> you got one you swing you swing into things, or you got one that you know men men kind of bump up into like like a car in a parking garage with the door getting hit by another car. <laughs> it's like you either got a stick or or you got a tire swing. It's one yeah, or the other. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's exactly what it is. This is why I hang out with Richard because we bring out the best in each other. We, you know, uh, some of my British friends out there. I'm I'm thinking about maybe bringing them into the country and showing them what capitalism looks like, what freedom looks like, with the ability to work, you know, a 16 to 18 hour day because you choose to because you want to make that extra money. That's something that they don't have, is it? That's something that uh, we in Britain and and uh, other you know other places that sound like socialism. It's just they they're not going to offer that to you. Listen, they won't let you work more than 35 hours a week. Now you tell me right now. Some motherfucker tries to tell me how to live my life at work. That's a dead person. That's so Plain and simple. Oh yeah, that's that's a fight in the parking lot right there. I think if my boss told me, "Hey, uh, could, I don't want to say my name, conserve space." You know, I, I have a lot of uh, lefty uh, stalkers and people trying to track me down at this point. Absolutely. Uh, but I, someone says that to me, and I'm sorry, we're, we're throwing fucking hands. You're not going to tell me how hard I'm going to work. I'll decide that myself. Thank you. Exactly. You might as well get the barn ready, because I'm throwing haymakers. That's all I'm saying. That's a, uh, Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's exactly the kind of shit that we need. We need more men who are willing to stand up for themselves, who are providing for their family out there. You know, tell, tell us a little bit about, about your family. Well, you know, uh, my mother died at a young age, and my father yep. raised me as a young man, uh, told me everything about what to do. Um, you know, I, it's not like he was some kind of Biden freak and maybe <laughs> touch his legs and all that bullshit. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, that, that, that was sick. So one of the coolest things about Richard's dad, because we, we hung out mostly in high school, but I had been over there because we grew up in a small town together. Uh, he actually taught Richard how to cook. And one time I made a joke. I said, so your dad's teaching you how to be the mom. And this man grabbed me by the scruff of my neck and he brought me to the front door and he put the boot to my ass and kicked me out of that house physically. And I said, that <laughs> is how a fucking man reacts. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, when I'm making the sandwiches in there, I don't need no disrespect. OK, that might be OK. And in, in, if a woman's <clears throat> in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, that's different because they're, they're that's different. Yep. Completely different. So. Yeah, just I, I just want to uh, extend a hello to your father if he's listening to this. I, I think you told him about the show, right? I, I I think I did, but he's kept asking who you were, and I I, I think he's lost his mind oh, at this so, point. So he forgot all uh, conservative space, did he? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, his his mind goes in and out sometimes. I I worry about him. Uh, that that's all right. Well, I will uh, hope the best for your father because, yeah, as you know, you know. I run a secular right wing show, so I hope that capitalism creates a medicine that sustains his life and gives him brain power and keeps him healthy. Absolutely. What's going to motivate you to find that cure? Cold? Do you think it's because I feel good about the person next to me? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, you got to fund these things, yes. buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what. It is. Some random fucking person. That's what I care about. No, buddy. Everyone cares no. about success, capitalism, helping their family. Uh, with that being said, closing remarks are all yours. Like I said, YouTube kind of has a hate boner for my channel. So you have until the 15-minute mark. It is 14.15. Go ahead. Well, I would like to say real quick that um, there's that I appreciate you so much for having me on the show. No, it's, it's, been, uh, uh, it's been quite a privilege. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 